The car bomb exploded very close to a checkpoint manned by soldiers and police, just a few kilometers from the city center. There were fatalities and injuries. Survivors were rushed to hospital. So I just fell down, and my brother that was standing with me, they said I felt him on the head. The security agents here were on duty to stop something like this happening. So there may be questions about how such an attack could happen right under their noses. Just over two weeks ago, a bomb exploded at a bus station in almost the exact same place, killing 75 people. We are Boko Haram. The leader of Boko Haram claimed responsibility for the attack at the bus station in this video. In it, he challenges the government to go after his group. Look at us. We are right within your city, Abuja, and you don't even know how to find us. Hours before this latest blast, the government told Al Jazeera it had the situation under control. Thousands of soldiers are fighting the group, and there was a decrease in attacks until this recent upsurge. Next week, Abuja is set to host the World Economic Forum. Hundreds of high-profile delegates from around the world are expected. But this latest blast will raise concerns about whether it's safe to hold the event. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Abuja, Nigeria.